A very good morning to the CBUS community. Today uh, is the uh, first Monday of the October Awareness Month, the uh, first Healthy Monday. Uh, I am going to walk you through uh, stem cell uh, research and stem cell therapy. October is the month for stem cell awareness and the very exciting field of stem cells and regenerative medicine and what it brings to you. Um, there is a lot of curiosity about what stem cells are and what do they mean to a, a regular a person walking on the streets. Uh, so, stem cells are very simply put just like stem of a tree, just like stem of a tree gives rise to branches and if given the proper fertilizer and water can give rise to leaves, flowers and fruits. Similarly, there are very special cells in our body which have potential to multiply many, many folds and give rise to any part of the body. If you put them in the liver, they can become liver like cells. If we put them in the heart, they can become heart like cells. If you put them near the brain, they can regenerate or help the brain to recover from any damage or insult. And that is what makes this tool a very, very um, interesting, very exciting uh, proposition for incurable disorders. And that is what this month of October is all about, about letting people know what stem cell can bring to their life, what kind of a change they can bring to a life. In fact, stem cell is a revolution in its own, just like electricity, just like uh, airplane, flights, uh, phone, WhatsApp, Facebook, the social media. Uh, it All of this has changed the way we look our lives. The, med the field of medicine has uh, also been revolutionized by the advent of antibiotics by imaging, by radioactivity. Similarly, stem cell now is here to change the way we look at diseases, conditions and disorders. There are different types of stem cells uh, depending on where we can procure them from. Uh, we were all uh, at one point stem cells. We were in our mother's womb. We were one cell stage and this one cell became 2 and 4 and 8 and 16 and 32 and that particular bunch of cell uh, is known as blastocyst. When stem cells are removed from these, these are known as embryonic stem cells and uh, potentially we could create a complete new fetus from these type of stem cells. And these are, uh, they have lot of potential but since they are taken from a child or from an embryo, lot of ethical issues and also the possibility of tumors and hence these are very good cells are very good uh, medium or tools for research. But we do have other type of stem cells. You must have heard of cord blood stem cells. Uh, many of our actors are now uh, brand ambassadors of various cord blood companies. So, cord blood is basically a wastage uh, and is put into the dustbin and but it has it is a very rich source of stem cells which can be used for the child in the future. But you and me also have stem cells in our body. We have regenerative potential in our own body which can help repair many of the tissues that undergo usual wear and tear. For example, stem cells are now being thought for anti-aging to improve your life expectancy, to improve your facial contour, to improve your knee functioning. Uh, to improve, uh, to repair the damage uh, whenever a sportsman who has a muscle tear or a carti cartilage tear. A lot of work is happening to help improve the heart functioning. A lot of work is happening to improve the eyes to get the retina back when there is a damage. Similarly, one of the most difficult facets or field of medicine which so far has had no answers is a field of neurological injuries, neurological damage or incurable neurological disorders. Such as a child who is born with severe brain damage leading to cerebral palsy, a child with autism, a child with mental retardation, an adult with brain injury due to head injuries or adult with stroke or paralysis. These are disorders till very few years back had no answers. There was no definitive treatment. Uh, stem cell now brings hope for these patients. We have at Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute mastered in art where we can help these children improve their quality of life by using the patient's own bone marrow. These are known as adult stem cells. We can take in a very simple way without a big surgery using just one needle bone marrow from the hip bone which can be used to 
harvest stem cells and inject it back into the spinal fluid. This helps the brain improve functioning and thereby improve in the quality of life of a patient. So this is the field of stem cells. This is the month of October, which is going to bring you a lot of information every Monday. Look out on this page for new information on stem cells, how they work, what can they bring, what kind of a change or hope they can bring in children with neurological uh, damage as well as adults with brain damage. Uh, look out uh, uh, for more information on this page and have a blessed Monday. Have a great month ahead.